Boxing is a sport that we all know and love, but it can change in an instant. From a knockout to losing in the biggest fight of your career and losing your undefeated professional record to even just being hit by a punch that you honestly have just never felt before in your career and ultimately having to stop. But what's even scarier is getting hit with something from out of this world, some may say. On June 24th of 1947, the creepiest and most eerie story of boxing took place. And it's all based around the legendary fighter Sugar Ray Robinson. If you know about boxing, then you know about Sugar Ray Robinson. And for you people who don't, Sugar Ray Robinson is one of, if not the greatest fighter of all time. This is where you're introduced to Jimmy Doyle. Jimmy Doyle was an American boxer who was born in California. He totaled 53 fights in his boxing career, 43 wins, 14 wins by knockout, 7 losses, and 3 draws. But his final fight was against Sugar Ray Robinson, and it ultimately costed him his life. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, that's not unnatural. It's boxing. It is a dangerous sport. You can get hit, concussions, brain damage, things of that nature. It's not the most outlandish thing to pass away from boxing. We see it today, and we saw it a lot back in the day. But this is where the story gets a little bit twisted. To lay out some frameworks for you guys, Jimmy Doyle had had a ton of fights, but in 1946, he fought Artie Levine and did suffer a concussion in the fight. His family, his friends, even the doctor told him to take some time off or honestly just stay away from boxing in general. Jimmy did not listen. Jimmy decided that he was going to keep fighting. So he kept fighting. Um, about four fights later, he won all four. Next opponent was Sugar Ray Robinson. He told his father before the fight this would be his last fight. That after this, he was going to be done unless he won the fight. Now, the reason that they wanted him to stop fighting was because he started slurring his speech there was reports of a paralyzed left eye. People just did not think Jimmy was taking his health seriously enough and people could start seeing the effects that boxing was taking on him. However, Jimmy said, I'm going to do the fight. If I lose, I'm done. I'll take care of myself. But if I am win, I'm going to be the champ. I should keep going. The fight gets signed. They're starting to spar. They're going through their training camps. And the week of the fight, Robinson has a very, very, very detailed dream about the fight. He dreams that he just knocks Jimmy Doyle out and Doyle passes away. So Robinson wakes up in a panic, like he is out of breath, he's sweating, he's screaming, Jimmy get up, Jimmy get up, Jimmy get up. And the dream freaks him out so bad he doesn't go to sleep for the rest of the night. He stays up all night thinking about it, wondering if he should fight Jimmy Doyle, wondering if it was just a dream, if it was something else. It just all felt way too real to Ray Robinson. So the morning after the dream, he he goes up to his promoter and he's like, dude, I I cannot do this fight anymore. It was way too real. I just saw it. It felt too real. It freaked me out. I don't want to do it. The managers were like, well, the contract signed. We kind of have to do the fight. Um, So they were just trying to convince Ray Robinson, hey, do the fight. Everything's going to be fine. People have bad dreams. You probably just had the bad dream knowing about his eye, knowing about his speech, knowing about his fighting. It's just a dream. It's just your subconscious. Nothing is true. But Ray Robinson was not going for it. Ray Robinson was convinced that this was a true story, that this was going to happen, that he should not fight, that this was not safe, that this was way, way too dangerous. Ray Robinson ignored his manager, ignored his friends, and he went to the commission and requested to cancel the fight. Now, the commission thought that this was just a bad reason to cancel the fight just because somebody had a bad dream or a night terror. So they decided to hire a Catholic priest to come in and talk to Sugar Ray Robinson and be like, hey dude, look, nothing was real. It was just a dream. This is all your imagination. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna box. Everybody's gonna walk away. Everybody's gonna be okay. You may still be the champ. He may still be the champ, but at the end of the day, everybody's gonna be okay. You're allowed to fight. And it worked. Even on fight night, he had the priest in the locker room with him. It worked. So Robinson gets to the fight. They're doing pretty good. Doyle's actually putting up a pretty good fight the first couple rounds. And then it happened. In his first title defense in the eighth round, he shot the left hook, dropped Jimmy Doyle. Jimmy Doyle got knocked out. Robinson, he celebrated, did his thing, but he wasn't too happy just because Doyle hadn't gotten up yet. And it's not uncommon for somebody to get dropped and not get up right away. They announced Robinson as a winner. He goes back to the backstage, and the first thing he asked his friends and the commission and just anybody in his team is, hey, is the kid up yet? Is he good? And at that point, he sees a stretcher coming by with Jimmy Doyle on it. Jimmy Doyle is not moving. 
and he immediately just starts breaking down. He knew at that moment that something was just not right, but he's still trying to be positive about it. You know, he's still talking to people. Maybe he just has to go to the hospital. Maybe it's a safety precaution. Maybe they're just checking him to make sure he's okay with all the speculation leading up to the fight. The Catholic priest is still assuring him like, hey, you're good. He's going to be okay. People get hurt. It's just boxing. Right after the fight, Doyle was taken to St. Vincent Charity Hospital in Cleveland, Ohio, and unfortunately passed away after not being able to regain consciousness due to the injuries sustained in the fight. After his death, Ray Robinson's freaking out, and then they press criminal charges on Ray Robinson for manslaughter and a few other things, but none of them actually went through because they couldn't really prove it. It was a contract. It was a known risk. Um, so Ray Robinson was free but they did try to press charges against ray robinson for the actions that happened on that night and honestly this still remains one of the most crazy stories in boxing today just because ray robinson vision in a dream the events that occurred on that night and i think the reason this story is so crazy is because that's just unnatural that's out of this world that's not supposed to happen how can you predict not only the outcome of your fight but what's gonna happen outside of the ring after your fight some people say it's supernatural some people say it's luck some people just say it was a weird coincidence but i don't know personally i think that there was some supernatural element at play i'm a big believer in ghosts i'm a big believer in the supernatural and everything just does not line up for something in this world to tell you that but let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think it was just some supernatural being? Do you think it was just a coincidence? Do you think he was a lucky guest? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm really interested to see what you guys say. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, drop a like, make sure to comment, and definitely make sure to subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell somebody you love them. Don't let nobody ruin your day. Peace out.